What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. In today's video we're discussing about the Cheo chill break and what's currently going on, why it is delayed and what is holding them from releasing the chill break. So you probably know Cheo chill break, it was announced back on 17th of July with a couple of photos on how the chill break will look like and yeah it's developed by Coolstar and their team and it's for iOS 15.0 up to 15.1.1. The last update we got from the Odyssey team was that the Cheo recovery is working on 15.0 to 15.1.1 but what is currently going on. The last news we posted about it on iDevice Central website date quite a while back, as you can see over here, back on July 26. So what is holding them off? What is currently going on? We finally have some information on what's stalling the progress. So yesterday Coolstar posted on their Discord, on Cilio Discord, but on a private developer announcements channel, some information on what's currently going on. Don't worry, I asked Coolstar for permission to talk about this in public, even though it's on a private channel. So let's see exactly what Coolstar said. She said, quote, for your information, since we will almost certainly need to sign code pages on iOS 15, libhooker on iOS 15 will not be backwards compatible with Substrate APIs. In addition, there will be a restriction of two to three calls to libhooker function per tweak, though there will be no limitation on the number of hooks you can put in an array of functions to hook at once. So ideally, call libhooker functions only once with all the C function hooks you need. These limitations will only be on 15, not 14. And yes, this is why Cheot is taking so long. Now, what does this mean? Because this is designed for developers and you probably won't understand a lot about this. Well, in order for your tweaks to run properly on the jailbreak, after you press the jailbreak button and the jailbreak is complete, you want your installed tweaks to run to be able to execute. Well, to do that, they use libhooker, which is basically like substrate, is a substrate alternative that provides the whole code, the whole framework that allow your tweaks to actually work and, you know, run on your device. But on iOS, with 15 there are some limitations for example code pages will need to be signed and stuff like that and there's a limit on how many times you can call the lh hook functions but i talked to coolstar in private and she assured me that for the end user this will be no different than any other jailbreak before if the tweak developers are actually listening to what coolstar has to say over here and they design their tweaks well with these limitations in mind then for the end user there will be no changes the tweaks will work just as fine as they did on ios 4 14. But Coolstar assured me that if developers do not listen to her and they release poorly coded tweaks or haphazardly put together tweaks, there will be issues with those tweaks. They may fail to run. But those changes to libhooker in order to accommodate iOS 15 security and stuff like that is what makes Cheo jailbreak to take so long. They have to figure out how to do this in the most elegant way so that tweak developers can work with it and tweaks can run without problems and most importantly so that users don't have to do anything special special in order for their tweaks to run. And that's exactly what's going on. iOS 15 is complicated. And what Cheo Jailbreak is doing is to essentially break a lot of those new security features of iOS 15 in order to give you a jailbreak. But those limitations need to be worked on carefully because otherwise things can break. And that's exactly what they don't want. If they release a haphazardly put together jailbreak, people will not use it and they will destroy the jailbreak's image forever. So they want to release something that works and that is somewhat stable. So that's what's currently going on. Libhooker needs a lot of updating and that's the reason it takes a while for it to complete. We don't have an estimated date of release for the moment, but once it releases, of course I will cover it on iDevice Central over here, which contains all the jailbreaks ever released for all iOS versions, but also here on the channel. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.